بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي الحبة في الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد يا حبة في الله continue on in our treaties a great treaties in this time and age from Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i Allah yarhamahu wa yaskaruhu fi jannat al firdaus amin ya rabbil alameen the treaties entitled Hadhi Da'watana wa Aqeedatana this is our da'wah, this is our propagation, this is our aqeedah this is our creed and this is our call because Imam Muqbil Rahmatullahi was a great Imam of Ahl Sunnah in this time and age from Ahl Hadith from those who love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and their tongues were wet with the remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and from those who was wet, whose tongue was wet with the speech and remembrance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam illustrating his love for Allah wa Rasulihi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and likewise the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een may Allah be pleased with all of them walau kari al kafirun walau kari al ahl bid'ah walau kari al ahl zandaka walau kari al ghayri dharik min ahl bid'ah ahabati fillah loving the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a part of iman so those people who go against ahl sunnati wal jama'ah hating them, fighting them killing them, slandering them, making fun of them and ridiculing them, and ridiculing the companions of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, cursing the companions of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, radiallahu ta'ala cursing them, speaking ill of them, belittling them, radiallahu ta'ala that these people have a sickness and a disease. These people are on the sabil of heresy. These people are on the sabil of the shaitan. They are on the path of the shaitan. Their path begins with the shaitan and it ends with the shaitan. Limadha. Why? Because they speak about the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's companions radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. Imam al muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i Allah yarhamahu said, Nuhibu ashaba rasulullahi. Nuhibu ashaba rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When nuhib وَنَبْغُضُ مَنْ تَكَلَّمَ فِيهِمْ وَنَأْتَقِدُ أَنَّ الطَّعْنْ فِيهِمْ طَعْنْ فِي الدِّينْ لِأَنَّهُمْ حَمَلَتَهُ إِلَيْنَا وَنُحِبُّ أَحْلَ الْبَيْتِ النَّبُوَّةِ حُبٍ شَرْعِيًا Imam Muqbil Rahmatullahi said and we love the companions of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين and we hate, we detest whoever speaks against them, whoever speaks about them in an ill way. And we believe that slandering them is slandering the deen. This is the aqeed of Ahl Sunnah. And this is due to the fact that they carried the religion to us. They narrated the religion to us. They preserved the religion for us. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put the companions in that esteemed position that they were in to be companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is the esteemed status that Allah gave them. Even if the Rafida hate this, even if the Shia of all their various branches hate this, the ones in Yemen, the Zaydiyya, and the other extremists who are attacking Ahl Sunnah and killing Ahl Sunnah, the ones in Sham, in Iraq, in Syria, and wherever they are hating and killing and trying to harm Ahl Sunnah, because they hate the creed of Ahl Sunnah, and they hate the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, that we're going to continue on our tongues, continue with our books, continue in our speech and our actions to uh, propagate the da'wah of Ahl Sunnah and with our swords, if need be, as well. Subhanahu 
ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with victory over the shayateen. Ameen ya rabbil alameen. So Ahlul Sunnah, as Imam Mukbil said, we love the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. This goes against the creed, as we mentioned, of the Shia, of many of the various branches of the Shia. Usually what you find in the Zaydiyya, the ones in Yemen, in north of Yemen, but they have been corrupted by the Rafidah, and they are supported by Iran, so they have a, a various blend of Shi'ism together, that the, the Zaydiyya are usually closer to Ahl Sunnah, meaning that they're Muslim, and that they usually don't speak ill of the Sahaba, they just have some bid'ah, in the religion and with regarding the Khalifa uh, of, of uh, the, the organization or the order of the Khalifat and their excessive love of Ali and things like this. But they generally, usually do not curse the companions. This is in general the, the, the lightest branches of the Shia. But then you have various other branches like the Rafida and others and some who are not even Muslim. You have those that are not even Muslim. So we might as well be talking about the Nation of Islam. We might as well be talking about the Five Percenters or any other people because they consider themselves Muslim. But in fact, they go, they, uh, their beliefs are in total contradiction to Islam in that they don't believe the Quran is the divine word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanahu wa ta'ala. They believe that it's been corrupted, that it contradicts itself. They believe that the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'een corrupted it and uh, so forth. And then they speak ill and celebrate and curse, have celebrations cursing Aisha radiallahu ta'ala the Ummu Mu'mineen, one of the mother of the believers who was a wife of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So they actually celebrate her death and celebrate speaking ill about her and raise their children up uh, to do so likewise. So these people are not even Muslim. These people, we don't have a love for them. And this is very important because we have so many du'at in the West especially, but around the world, it's not just them. You have amongst the Arabs as well. Even in the Arab world, you have people who are very popular du'at, who call to aspects of Islam. But they're aqidah. They don't understand aqidah. They don't have any minhaj. Or they don't have a minhaj sahih. They don't have a methodology based on kitab Allah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the self of this ummah because they love the rafidah and they seek to come closer to the rafidah. And they... they, they Oh, that's okay that you don't that you think Ab, Ab, uh, Abu Huraira is a fasik. That's okay that you think Aisha was a prostitute. Wa'iyadhin billah min dhalika. How is it someone who could be Sunni supposedly from Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah could seek to have those people closer to them, to seek to have those people uh, as their companions, to seek to have those people uh, and consider those people to be their Muslim brothers and sisters? Abedin, no, that's not the case. Ahabatifillah, anyone who speaks ill of the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the lightest way, then those person, people you should run away from. Those people you should avoid and run away from. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala protect us from the evil of the Rafidah. Wa ghayrihim. Ahabatifillah, the Shia Rafidah and the Khawarij and some other sects they have ill, uh, they speak ill of the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala and And as I said, in this day and age, it's very important that we study treatises like this and those treatises of the Salaf that show us the correct Aqidah because they're the, what happens is the more that we allow these kind of du'at, du'at to taqrib they, they want to bring everyone closer together and that we allow the, the, the minhaj of the Quran of Muslimin to spread around the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the more we become weaker in these affairs of al-wala wal bara And the more we become weaker with regards to those people who are in fact your enemies, those people who believe it is a part of their faith to kill you, those people who believe it's a part of their faith to curse Ummana, Aishata, radiallahu ta'ala anha, and say that she was a... Adulteress. They would never say this 
about even the common Muslim. So how is it you can say this about Umm Mu'mineen? Radiallahu ta'ala anha. So Habitifillah, it's important that we understand these Masail and that we understand how to practice these Masail, these issues, and beware and be cautious. And I know that many people, they don't want to Pay, they don't want to pay attention to the affairs of Aqidah. They say Aqidah is not so important. We have a lot of uh, other issues in the community. We have health issues. Ebola is in America now. We have this. We have this. Yes, those are important issues. Yes, it's imperative that we raise our children and we deal with the kufr and the secularism and all the other ideologies. But we also have to deal with those ideologies which have attached themselves to Islam and are... Uh, attacking the Aqidah and creed of Ahl Sunnah because your children won't be saved when they come home one day and they're cursing the companions what do you say then? what do you say then? so this is imperative to understand and guard the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala said وَمِنْ أَصُولَ أَحْلَ سُنَّةِ وَلْ جَمَعَةِ سَلَامَةُ قُلُوبِهِمْ وَعَلْ سِنَّةِهِمْ لِأَصْحَابَ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ كَمَا وَصَفَهُمْ فِي قَوْلِهِ تَعَالَى وَالَّذِينَ جَاءُوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا فِرْ لَنَا وَلِإِخْوَانِنَا الَّذِينَ سَبَقُونَ بِالْإِيمَانِ وَلَا تَجَلْ فِي قُلُوبِنَا غِلِّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا رَبَّنَا إِنَّكَ رَوْفُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Hashr, في كتابه الكريم, قال سبحانه, and those, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, and from the usul of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, and from the foundation of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, is that their hearts are content. And their tongues as well. With regards to the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, radiyallahu taala anhu majmaeen, as was explained, or as Allah subhanahu wa taala, the Lord of the heavens and earth, the one who rose above His throne, subhanahu wa taala, in a manner that suits His Majesty, the one who created the heavens and earth, He mentioned them in His book, the Kitab al Karim. Qala subhana, those who came after them, they say. Our Lord, uh, they say, oh, our Lord, uh, forgive us. And our brothers who came before us that had Iman. And do not make in our hearts a hatred or a any kind of uh, uh, hatred or envy or, or ill speaking, ill, Ill, uh, Ill thought about those who believe. O oh, our Lord, verily you are Rauf Rahim. Allah says this. That this is the uh, this is the way of the believers. That ayah there illustrates for us that Usul al-Tiqad of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. That they pray for the believers. They love the companions of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because Hawlai Sabakuna bil Iman. They preceded us in Iman. They came before us. <laughs> they have held the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have these books, the books of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, because the codification, the protection of the companions of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiallahu ta'ala alayhi wa We have these books, the Nusus, we have the Quran, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used them to preserve his deen, to carry on his deen. His deen, subhanahu wa ta'ala, it was preserved by the companions of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Radhi Allah ta'ala anima ajma'in. Don't speak ill of them ever, never. When you hear someone, speak out if you have the ability, even in the smallest way. And I'll tell you a true story before we end off here. Recently, I had a conversation with a brother. We didn't, and a lot of times you don't know what different people believe, your work companions and stuff, but alhamdulillah, he's Muslim, I'm Muslim. We're sitting at a coffee break, he begins to speak. He tells me about a, a, an Arabic speaker. He said I should listen to him. I said I have never heard of him. I, I don't know anything about him. And he told me, he said yes, and da 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 da. And this man, he, um, uh, you know, the Shia Sunni thing, and blah blah blah. And I said, well, I'm from Ahl Sunnah. I'm Salafi, and you're from Ahl Sunnah. Yes, I'm from Ahl Sunnah. But you know, Muawiyah this. But you know, uh, Abu Huraira this. I said, Subhanallah. I said, well, subhanAllah, this is what this man is teaching? Is this man a, a da'i of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When Allah is praising these people? 
when a lot, when these people are forgiven for what they whatever mistakes they made, don't speak ill about the companions. The companions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, لا تسوب أصحابي. So I started giving him the source from Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and still he can only say but and an if. But he was humble because he couldn't argue with the nasus from Kitabi Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the fadl of the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, لا تسوب أصحابي. Do not. Speak ill of my companions. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. Only someone from Ahl al-Bidah would speak ill of the companions of the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And only someone whose aql, their intellect is deficient. Why? Because if they say they're Muslim and they're following the religion of Islam, the religion of Islam was, was, was preserved and uh, transmitted through these people. Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een. So if you speak about the transmitter, then what about that which is transmitted? That shows you the intellect is nux. The intellect is deficient of these individuals who speak ill of the Prophet Sallallahu Sunnah and they want to come up with a new Sunnah. They have an inclination only the Quran but then they don't realize the Quran tells them to follow the Sunnah. And as Imam Baba Hari said, Al Islam wa Sunnah wa Sunnah to Al Islam that Islam is a Sunnah and that the Sunnah is Islam. Kitab al-Sunnah. And this is uh, in accordance with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And the Salaf of this Ummah, the Ra'ala Ruzihim, is Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The heads of the Salaf of this Ummah. Why do we call ourselves Salafi? Because we want to follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We want to follow the way in Minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah. We want to follow the way of the companions of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Radiallahu ta'ala majma'een. So Ahabit Tifillah. Beware of those people who say that you should be close to the Rafidah. Beware of those people who say that there's no difference between us and them. Beware of those people who say, who speak ill, even one letter or utterance against the companions and then they don't make Tawbah right after that or say it was a slip of the tongue or whatever. But in fact, clarify for them if you have the ability to. If not, take them to those who can clarify for them clarify to them this important aspect of creed that Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i Allah yarhamahu espoused and was a reviver of in Yemen and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah everywhere especially our brothers and sisters in Yemen who are suffering at the hands of the Rafida and the Zaydiyyah wa ghayrihim min al-shayateen and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save our brothers and sisters who are in Syria and wherever they may be that they're being persecuted and harmed, even spoken ill against, even if it's one word by Ahl al-Shayateen, by, by Hizbah Shaytan, the his, supposed Hizbullah in Lebanon, these Shayateen, who cursed the companions of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiallahu Ta'ala Alim Ajma'een, who hate Ahl Sunnah, who want to put their bullets in the backs of Ahl Sunnah, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala protect us from them and their wickedness and their devilishness, and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala stop the spread of the cancer of the Dawah of the Rafidah and any other form of Shiism, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite the Ummah on the Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala ilm ajma'een and ala sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiallahu ta'ala ilm ajma'een wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam